Hello, Junior 5. I hope you're all fine. With you, Mrs. Nehlali, I'm gonna introduce Unit 12, Reading Comprehension, Saving Other People. It's the title of our unit. It's based on a true story called The Great Race of Mercy. You can surf the internet and watch a movie about it called Togo. First of all, let me ask you a question, Junior 5. Do you have a pet? And what kind of pets do you have? Wow, some of you have cats, some of you like dogs, some like horses, if you are a horse rider, by the way. So, let's know more about dogs. Dogs are domestic animals who are very loyal, they are faithful, they are good at cuddles, they can make you active, and they like hard work. They are different species like Doberman, German, and Husky. Look at Doberman. Yes. It's like kind of dogs um, who work with the police cops, yes. And look at Husky, look at the background behind him, yes. Maybe the weather is hot? No, it's not hot. It's very cold and snowy. So they live in cold and harsh environments. They are famous for sled pulling. So let's read paragraph number one and take care of the husky dogs. We will know our story today. Paragraph number one, let's read. This is the true story of how 20 mushers and 150 dogs saved the lives of 10,000 people in the winter of 1925. Oh my God. So could the dogs save people? Were they brave? Or coward. Let's know more. Nam is a small town in the north of Alaska. In January 1925, some children in the town became ill and died. The doctor realized it was a terrible disease. It could infect and kill everybody in the town. So, how many dogs were there? Great, they were 150 dogs. What did they do? They saved the lives of 10,000 people in the winter of 1925. So what was the problem, problem in 1925? There was a terrible disease, illness, like COVID-19 nowadays. What could it do? It could infect and spread and kill everybody in the town. Okay. Sorry. What happened then? Immediately, he sent for medicine. A plane was ready to fly the medicine more than 1,000 kilometers to Nam, But the weather was too cold and it could not take off. Only a dog sledge could take the medicine. But everyone asked, can the dogs reach Nam in time? So, did the plane fly the medicine? No, great job. Why, Junior 5? Because it couldn't fly in the very, very harsh and cold weather. Great job. So what was the solution? We can send a dog sledge that could take the medicine, but we are asking. Can the dogs reach it? Let's know our new vocabulary in the first paragraph. Musher. It's a noun. It's the driver of a dog sledge. So, who is the driver of a dog sledge? He is called musher. Disease. The equal word is illness. It's a noun. An illness affecting people, animals, and plants. In fact, it's a verb to make an illness spread to a person, animal, or plant. Maybe by touching, sneezing coughing, something like this, like COVID-19, it can infect people very, very easily. Medicine, it's a noun. It's the study of diseases and injuries, like people who are joining the faculty of medicine. Number two, it's a noun, substance, especially a liquid that you drink or swallow in order to be cured from an illness. So if you caught a cold, you have to take your medicine to be well. At the picture this is the medicine sledge it's a noun 
A vehicle for traveling on snow or ice with long strips of wood or metal instead of wheels. Look at this. This is a dog sledge. How did they fasten the dogs? Look at these. These red ropes. Yes, they are called harness. They are called harness. Thanks a lot for part number 